Excuse me, Tawala, and I'll be taking you again in science. So now, before we can look at what we are going to learn today, I want us to revise on what we had learned last time. So can you tell me what can you remember? What was the last thing that we learned in science? What was the last thing that we learned in science? Anyone? Anyone? Very good. So last time in science, we were looking at plants around us. We looked at different types of plants that are found up around us. So now we looked at two different types of groups. Can you tell me the two groups of plants that we looked at? Can you tell me the two groups of plants that we looked at? Very good. We looked at the garden plants. What else? Also the bush plants. We said garden plants, you can also call them cultivated plants. Bush plants, you can also call them wild plants. So these were the different types of plants that we looked at. We also get examples for cultivated plants and also examples for bush plants. We also say these plants we have got flowering plants and those that do not produce flowers. Very good. So now since we revised on what we had learned last time in science, today we are going to look at something different. Today we are going to be focusing on the cultivated plants. So can we all say cultivated plants? Again, cultivated plants. So today in science we are looking at cultivated plants. So now since we looked at what we are going to be learning on today, we are saying cultivated plants. Before we can give examples of plants that are cultivated, we need to know what the word cultivation means. What is to cultivate? What do you understand by the word cultivation? So when they say cultivation, this is a process of just preparing the soil in order for us to grow crops. In order for us to grow different types of crops. So cultivation is the process of preparing the soil for us to grow different types of crops. So we are saying cultivation. Cultivation is the process of preparing the soil for growing crops. So we prepare the soil so that we can grow different types of crops. So now since we've looked at what the word cultivation means, what it means, I want you to tell me different types of garden crops that you know, different types of cultivated plants that you know, that you even plant at all. When you prepare the soil, what different types of plants do you plant when you are at home? What different types of crops do you grow when you are at home? Those plants that you plant even in the garden. Can you give me different types of examples of those plants that you know? Anyone? Very good. So our friend has said maize. So we have maize. What else? Apart from maize, what else? We have carrots, very good. What else? We also have sweet potatoes. So 
So we have got a lot of different types of crops that we plant. These are cultivated plants. This is because we grow them and at the end of the day when they are ready, we cultivate them and we eat them. So now I want us to look at the chart that is showing different types of cultivated plants. We have got different types of more cultivated plants. We have got here tomatoes, watermelon, grapes, also maize. So these are the different types of plants that we grow. We cultivate them ourselves. These are garden plants. We plant them and when they are ready, we also cultivate them. At the end of the day, they give us different types of food. So these are examples of cultivated plants. So now, since we've looked at the examples, we've also looked at different types of plants on the chart. I want you to tell me why is it important for us to cultivate plants? Why is it important for us to cultivate these plants that we are seeing here on the chart? Why is it important? Why is it important for us to cultivate these plants on the chart? The importance for us to cultivate different types of these that are here on the chart is because these produce food for us, they also give us different types of food at the end of the day. When they are ready, we get different types of food. So it gives us variety of different types of food. So we are saying it is important for us to cultivate different types of crops because at the end of the day, we get a variety of different types of food. So now, since we've looked at everything, I want us to look now at the exercise, trying to see what you understood from what you have actually named. So the first question reads, what is cultivation? The first question reads again, what is cultivation? Number two, state the importance of cultivating plants. Number three, draw four cultivated plants. We have mentioned different types of plants, so here you're supposed to draw four. Here you're supposed to state the importance of cultivating plants. And on the first one, you're supposed to define what cultivation is. So therefore, today in science, we are looking at the cultivated plants. Today in science, we are looking at cultivated plants. And we started by saying, what is cultivation? What do you understand by the word cultivation? So cultivation is the process of preparing the soil for growing crops. So you prepare the soil and later after, you need to plant different types of crops. And we also looked at uh, different types of, of uh, examples for cultivated plants. We said maize, carrots, sweet potatoes, and others that we have not put on the board. And we also looked at the chart, which is showing different types of cultivated plants. We have got tomatoes, watermelon, maize, and also grapes. This was Tito and this video was brought to you by Fountain School.